it is bittersweet that I must announce that Ingenuity, the little helicopter that could, and it kept saying, I think I can, I think I can. Well, it is now taking its last flight on Mars. As it was coming down for landing, at least one of its carbon fiber rotor blades was damaged. We're investigating the possibility that the blade struck the ground. This is what the blade looks like. It's a special fiber with a special contour. That little helicopter could fly in a 1% atmosphere, not 100% atmosphere like we have on Earth. It cut through a 1% atmosphere and was able to fly. And what Ingenuity accomplished far exceeds what we thought possible. Almost three years ago, the helicopter made its first flight on the planet Mars. Altimeter data confirms that Ingenuity has performed its first flight. And living up to its name, Ingenuity made history as the first aircraft to make a powered controlled flight on another planet. But then, it flew farther and higher than we ever thought possible. And what started as a technology demonstration with plans for only up to five flights has now completed a remarkable 72 flights on Mars. And the innovation doesn't stop here. It acted as a scout for the Perseverance rover. It would go and check out sites Ingenuity demonstrated how flight can enhance operational missions, and it's helping us in the search for life on Mars. And like the Wright brothers, what they did back here on Earth at the early part of the last century, Ingenuity has paved the way for future flight in our solar system and it's leading the way for smarter, safer human missions to Mars and beyond. I think President Biden said it best after Ingenuity's first flight. He said, NASA proved once again that with relentless determination and the power of America's best minds, anything is possible. That's what we try to do at NASA, make the impossible possible. And so, thank you, Ingenuity. <laughs>